Hi, it's me, Anthony Albanese, and I'm here to talk about the upcoming voice referendum. And get excited, because this is going to be our most expensive referendum yet. That's right, $364 million. And instead of using that money to help ease the cost of living or address the housing crisis, inflation, Medicare, Veterans Affairs, boost productivity, we've decided it's more important to hold a referendum so we can make a tiny little change to the Constitution. Hang on, Penny, I thought this was supposed to be a big change, a monumental change. No. But that's what I told the indigenous community. No, we've got to downplay it, Albo. Just stick to the script. Oh, yep, yep. Sorry, Penny. That's right. A tiny, little, itty-bitty, modest amendment to the Constitution. The country's most important document. Don't worry about it. And to do that, we have to hold a national compulsory vote called a referendum. And all we need to pass a referendum is more than 50% of the people to vote yes, plus a majority of the states. And that's what's called a double majority. Wait, really? Um, yes, uh, that's what it uh, says here. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be that hard to pass. I don't even think 50% of Aboriginals will vote yes, Bernie. Oh, uh, well, what would I know? Bernie, you're the Minister for Indigenous Affairs. There's been 44 referendums and nearly all of them have been successful. Most of them have been successful. Only eight have been successful in all of Australia's history? Even though most people were in favour of Australia becoming a republic, the model that was proposed stunk. But don't you worry, we've learned our lesson from that referendum. We're not going to be proposing a bad model. Oh no, we won't be proposing a model at all. That's right, this will be a vote purely on the vibe. No details, no costings, no worries. Now, when you hit the ballot box, you've actually got to write the words yes or no on the ballot. This is really important, so don't be referendum. If you're voting yes, it's as simple as writing the letters Y E YES. Cut! That's the fifth time! Oh, I'm sorry, Thomas Mayo. I don't know why we're changing the constitution. I could just legislate an advisory panel. This isn't about an advisory panel, this is about Macarada! Oh, yeah, Macarada. That means coming together in peace and harmony and stuff, doesn't it? No, it means to stab someone in the thigh with a spear! Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. That's how to vote, but how you vote is entirely up to you. I know how I'm voting. Authorised by D. Huxium for Pauline Hansen's One Nation Brisbane.